A lawyer in Hampton, New Brunswick, who wanted my journalistic materials to be turned over to the RCMP detachment in town, is now running to be a member of the provincial legislature. Friends, can you guess the party she's running for? New Brunswick is headed to a general election on September 14th and I think the election holds grave consequences for press freedom if one really bad lawyer gets elected to her riding in Hampton, New Brunswick. That lawyer's name is Carly Parrish and she's a bully. I know it because she tried to bully me into turning my journalistic materials over to the RCMP. But first, Let's go back a little to how we met Carly Parrish. Remember our Fight the Fines case with Walter Matheson? The Hampton, New Brunswick resident was just minding his own business, eating his muffin and finishing his coffee in a Tim Hortons parking lot, when along came a belligerent RCMP officer who told Walter he should leave. And if he didn't, he would be in violation of the Quarantine Act because Walter would be attracting teenagers to the parking lot where the teenagers would, I guess, catch the Wuhan cough from Walter from the confines of his car. It was a ridiculous excuse, but Walter attempted to comply. After first pointing out just how ridiculous the whole affair was, since Walter was sitting alone in his car, eating a muffin, trying not to do the dangerous thing of eating and driving, Walter told the cop, quote, this is still a free country, and then went to follow the police officer's orders by leaving wherein the cop stopped him and ticketed him $300 anyway, but not before berating Walter. Savvy Walter recorded the exchange. Just take a listen to some of it here. Not too bad. Good, good. Tim Hortons has asked me to move people from the parking lot here. Really? Okay. I, I know you're by yourself and all that, but what it does is it's letting the teens see what happens and then they all start hanging out here later on. No, I don't Tim believe Hortons, that. Pardon me? I don't believe that. You don't believe the teens that's will do their, that? <laughs> that's, that's their opinion. No, that's true, but they have asked, and it is up to them to do it. This country is still a free country. Okay, if you don't move, I'm going to give you a $292 ticket. Is that right? Yes. For doing what? For not moving in compliance to what I'm saying. I'm trying that's to be nice to law. you. License, please. License, please. No, I'll leave. Then leave, now. Okay. I was nice to you. I gave you a chance. Get out. If I catch you thank back you here, it will much. be a $292 ticket. What, what's your ticket. name, sir? Constable John Thompson. Okay, thank you, John. Okay. Yeah. I would still like to see your driver's license, though. Well, I'm okay. No, I would like to see it, sir. Stop right there. Driver's license. Just a minute, I'll back up. Doesn't matter, you don't have to. You stop right where you are. Oh. How long is this going to go on? I have no idea. No idea. Oh. I don't like it any more than you do, but I'm doing a job. I'll be right back. Hey, sir, I was nice to you. I asked you to leave. You gave me a hard time, so now you're getting a ticket under the failure time. to comply with the directions of the Emergency Measures I, I Act. Yes, get... you did, sir. No, okay? No, you didn't, didn't want to leave. Don't try arguing now. If you want to take it up with something, you can take it up with the sergeant at the office. Okay. I'm not dealing with you. Or you can go to court and you can contest it. Okay? When the court Two hundred and ninety-two fifty. You can pay it at any service in New Brunswick or you can pay it online. Well, I'm not okay? going to pay it. Do you want it on court? Do you want to go to court in English or in French? I'm English. Do you want it in English? Yes, of course I do. Okay. You have your driver's license back. Thank you very much. I'm going to get you to sign here. It's not admitting no, guilt, just I've explained it to you. I'm not going to sign okay? it, sir. Refuse to sign. It still stands, even know. if you don't sign. I don't. Okay? If you come back here, you will now be trespassing. Excuse me? If you come back, you will now be trespassing. Does that include every Tim Hortons in town? No, that's just one here in Hampton. Just this one. Just this one. So if you come back, you're trespassing. There's your ticket. Mm. Leave the parking lot now, sir. Let's have another one. Next one goes up to $1,000. Really? Yes. You can get up to ten thousand dollars. How many have you so given move. out today? You're the first. Well, I feel so so good about that. You're lucky. That. You're the first. You're the first asshole went back. Thank you very much. Now here's where this whole story that was already pretty weird took a turn for the absolutely bizarre and slightly totalitarian, with a sprinkling of really, really bad legal advice. The cop who ticketed Walter, and whose name I never mentioned once in my video about it hired a lawyer named Carly Parrish who sent me one of the craziest, however, one of the most inept legal letters I've ever received in my five years on the job here, and we're kind of litigious here at Rebel News, so I've seen a lot of legal letters. Just look at this, and friends, we're going to overlook the spelling mistakes, the address mistakes, and the strangely placed punctuation that you shouldn't see from any lawyer worth their hourly rate to just look at the information in here 
and what Carly Parrish wanted me to do. Please be advised we represent Constable Thompson with respect to the above cited matter. And then Carly Parrish links directly to the Rebel News webpage of my interview with Walter Matheson. She cut and pasted the link without ever opening it. And that becomes pretty evident here in a second. We understand your reporter recorded a conversation without the knowledge of Constable Thompson. This is unacceptable. Constable Thompson has had two death threats as a result. Death threats are terrible. I receive them myself sometimes, but maybe the cops in Hampton can pull some men off the Tim Hortons older guy eating a muffin in a parking lot beat to deal with these violent lunatics, if indeed they do exist. In addition, Sheila Gunn-Reed repeatedly mentioned his name in the article, This is Defamation of Character. As a result, we suggest you remove Constable John Thompson from the article and return the recording to the Hampton RCMP forthwith. Now, I said at the time that we received this weird legal letter that this bully lawyer, Carly Parrish, fired this thing off without ever having watched the 10-minute video where I never mentioned her client by name not even once, nor was it ever written on the website copy that accompanied the video. This wasn't a thing until she and her bully client made it a thing. If anybody defamed anybody here, the police officer did it to himself and his uniform through his own actions and words. And this lawyer, Carly Parrish, seems to think that I was somehow sitting in a car on the other side of the country with a man who was a complete stranger to me until he reached out to me for help after the fact and that I was completely invisible to the naked eye, surreptitiously recording an interaction between Walter Matheson and the very rude police officer ticketing him. I mean, that's just insane, but it's also pretty lazy lawyering, right? But on what planet does this lawyer... Carly Parrish, think that I have any legal obligation or duty or that she could even ask me to turn over my journalistic materials to the RCMP in Hampton, including the completely legal recording M Walter Matheson took. Why does she think the RCMP would be willing to confiscate my journalistic materials? What is going on in Hampton, New Brunswick with the cops? Does Parrish not know that there's a Charter of Rights and Freedoms? Who at the RCMP detachment would take receipt of these things from me and thus violate my charter rights? I think Parrish and her cop client are a couple of small town bullies who think they can run roughshod over people. Well, I'm a small town girl too, but I've got a big city boss and even bigger city lawyers. So we didn't give them a darn thing. But here's where things get bad for freedom and for other people, not just for me and Walter Matheson. This lawyer, Carly Parrish, is now running to be a liberal MLA in Hampton, New Brunswick. It's unbelievable. Now, from what I understand, Parrish is a bit of a perennial liberal candidate, but with the liberals' ethical challenges as of late, she just might be perfect for the party given her own um, struggles with those things. And here's the really good news. Parrish lost the last time she tried to run in 2018 for the provincial liberals with the conservative incumbent taking nearly 50% of the vote. She finished with just 19. So that's bad for Carly Parrish, but you know what else is bad for her? Carly Parrish tried to bully me and now nearly 500,000 people have seen what a terrible lawyer she is and what a bully she is. So good luck to her trying to overcome that in small town Hampton, New Brunswick. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunreed. If you'd like to help Walter Matheson fight back against the $300 fine that he received from that bully cop, or if you'd like to help any of the people involved in any of our Fight the Fines cases, please go to fightthefines.com.